Alrighty. Good morning, good midday, good evening, good afternoon. Merry Christmas, happy Halloween, happy birthday, happy Earth Day, happy Martin Luther King Day, whatever the day might be. Hello, for out here from Northeast Georgia, Mr. Gate Keeper, 1883. Otherwise, two Whiskey Radio, 1883, out there on the SSB area. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, this right here probably tops it all on the amount of mods done to one amplifier, possibly. I'm going to kind of count them as I go. This might look just like a regular Messenger M350 with a fan on the bottom, but I assure you that it's not. So I'm going to try to take this quick as I can. All right, I'm going to hide, hide your address here, bud, so nobody sees it. Mr. Uh, Hill Hillario. Please uh, forgive me if I'm saying that wrong. Hillario. It's one of my best customers right here, man. All right, for the M350. Needs SSB to work. Don't know if it works. Have not tried it yet. Wants an AB slash C bias. Uh, needs power wires replaced with connectors. Uh, we talked about that. You said you didn't need the connectors. Uh, possibly might need more power. Maybe you need better pills. It did not. <laughs> After I got done with it, the uh, power went up pretty well. Uh, test a preamp. It did not work. Need a fan on the top. We talked about that. Putting the fan on the heat sinks where you want it. High, a low, medium switch. Can it be replaced with a variable, variable knob? Oh, yes, it can. And I have done that on a lot of these messengers. Um, all right, here's where you messed up, buddy. Here's where you messed up. Number six. Whatever you think can be done to it to make the amp stupendous. <laughs> well, brother... You shouldn't have said that. Because sometimes I don't know when to quit. Alright, let's pan the camera over this way really quick. Alright, this turned out to be a little bit more than just a repair upgrade. This turned out to be more of a mini project. Now what I do when I'm doing something that I have not done before, which I have not done this to this particular amp before, is I will go ahead and draw some schematics on paper I can keep for future reference but also while I'm doing this it, it helps me learn the amplifier you know memory wise okay so that's what I did I pretty much drew a schematic of the amp pretty much just in the sections that I'm going to be doing work in as you see you don't have the main amplifier part but mainly you know just to help a uh, flow of the switches the AB bias section so the amp's already AB biased. What we're do what we're needing to do was to add a C option, okay? To add a C class option inside there with it. So I had to figure out how to manipulate the circuit to do that. And um, as well, up here on the uh, board on the back with the uh, key in circuit and, and all that good stuff. Basically, after I figured out how I was going to manipulate the circuit, I just kind of drew this big. This is the relay I added. So this right here is just the circuit um, uh, that I manipulated, just blown up so I could use it for reference while I was doing it. That's how I keep things quicker. Another reason why I have to do this is I was diagnosed with what you call a short-term memory disorder. <laughs> <laughs> and it sucks so I have a problem for getting things right after I do it and stuff like that so I just gotta do that kind of stuff keep myself straight alright here's all the components that came out of this cotton picker I usually do away with these strips right here a lot of you people might not agree with that but I'll show you what I usually do is do away with this and then I'll just strengthen up the ground by just loading solder on it. Just strengthen up those paths of ground. 
I did this with a one drive and eight for my good buddy Mr. Real Deal. And I mean, that Captain Picker did 400, 450 bird RMS just like it wasn't nothing, man. Didn't starve for a bit of current. And I did the same thing, took that big strip they had off there and just strengthened up all the pass for grounds with solder instead of having that thin foil. There's your high low medium there. I've probably got about six or seven of these now. I do like the variable option a lot better. Instead of having three sets, you got pretty much 99 sets with a variable. All right, let's flip on over to here. All right, let's use this right here. I'm just gonna make a mark on a piece of paper with each mod that I did. All right, we got your variable. I changed the LEDs to blue. Okay. All right, let's go back here to the back. You got your two power wires. This is some of the thickest eight gauge that you can buy on the market. That's the third mark. I'll put you some real good strain connectors on here, man. I love these. I think I'm going to start using them from now on as much as I can. Okay, I got six more minutes, so I need to flow on through this. All right, I went ahead and installed your remote port in the back. Okay, and this switch back here, let's see if we can get this. Let's see if we can get this on the camera here. All right, you see that switch? Okay, and then the remote port. This right here is just a test for a test remote that I use right here just to just to test to show you it working. It's a quarter inch plug, okay? It's a small stereo plug. Okay, a quarter inch plug for your remote port back here. Okay, that switch in the back right there, that is your sideband delay. And let me explain why I did that. Alright, sideband delay. Remote port. Alright. The reason why I did that is your AM and SSB, that is now your AB bias and C class switch. When it's flipped down to AM, it is class C, nonlinear. When it's flipped up to SSB, it is your normal, just as it was before, AB. Unregulated AB. That is a cigarette, y'all. Celebration cigarette. All right, let's pop this off. And uh, by the way, man, good job, Tech Nine. Tech Nine uh, put this gaffer's tape on the top here, man. Looks great. So this amp did go to Tech Nine at one point in time. I don't know if he did a repair to it, um, or what, or if it was just sent to him to to do that uh, top right there with that gaffer's tape, man. Looks great. You can make any top look really good with this stuff. All right, I'm about done. I'm about done. All right, so we're going to take the top off. I'm about done. All right, y'all, look in here. I mean, this thing is just spotless. Spotless. Not a bit of flux. I know I went through probably 50 to 60 Q-tips, man, getting all the flux out of this thing. He is real heavy on the flux like Texas Star is. I mean, this thing is just immaculate immaculate look at it I, I usually don't brag y'all I'm not a big bragger but man this thing is pretty this thing is beautiful alright real quick like I said this is one of the thickest 8 gauge you can get there's three companies that have the thickest wire strand believe it or not Rockford Fosgate's one of them this right here is another one I hadn't learned how to say their name yet <laughs> starts with a K though but a uh, beautiful wire, I love it. All right, the hot bus they had was really tiny, man. Really tiny, I did not agree with that and it would not accept this big eight gauge wire. So I went ahead and threw you down a big hot bus bar right here, okay? I took the tiny chokes off. These right here. That maybe is about 20 to 22 gauge wire on there. 
and replaced them with two of these with two uh, 16 gauge wires okay with it being that short to there that's uh, almost flawless there man with the power wire dis distribution okay went ahead and threw you on a new diode new cap right here and I added this thousand right, we're gonna add a mark for power bus bar um, I guess we can add a mark too for power distribution caps I mean uh, chokes alright as you see there's your variable got your big 5 watt there the reason why I use them we only got two minutes left y'all I'm about to hurry up here um, replaced all your feedback circuits had to replace the um, right here had to replace this right here was pretty brown okay took that trim route mic that in okay there's your relay for the your uh, a b slash c switchable the preamp now i had to mark mark for that mark for the a b c switchable all right i had to replace everything in your preamp circuit man everything in your preamp circuit i finally got it working i think uh, two of the diodes were blown and you can see everything else back here all right let's we got one minute and i'm going to hurry up and just jump in to the to the output all right turn it on with the remote there okay All right, we're just going to do full output, okay? And show you the input reflect. All right. Oh, yeah. All right, that's about 100 bird. Take a look at the input reflect. Oh, nothing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. About flat. All right, let's take a look at the PEP. Oh, yeah. All right, that's 300 even. All right, now we're going to go ahead and put some drive into this thing. This is a high drive amp. Ah, shoot. I know I got more space than that. We're going to probably come back with a video too, man. I hate that. All right, this is video too. I really hated to have to do that. Um... But I just ran out of space there. We got five minutes on this one. All right, here's video two. I've just showed y'all with a four watt drive, 300 peak, 100 bird RMS. Now we're going to double that to an eight watt drive, which, you know, you still can drive it a little bit more than that. No problem at all. And also, we are on 15.2 volts. Okay, that's what the amp is on. Go ahead and turn that off. So that's on my battery. That's why I always like to turn that off. You know what? We are hooked up to the, um, we are actually hooked up to the 148. And the reason why I was hooked up to that is to show you that the sideband delay works. Okay, let me go ahead and do that first, okay? This is not going to be an output test. Just to show you that the sideband delay does work. Okay, sideband delay was already turned up. All right, we'll flip that up. Turn that on, that off. All right. We're on 38 lower side band. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to hold it up to it so you can hear the click and the delay, okay? Oh, yeah. Testing one, 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 one. Now I'm going to quit talking. Key, unkey. Key, unkey. Audio. Check, 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 check. Audio. All right. Well, there you go. Sideband delay does work. <clears throat> Sideband delay does work. All right. I'm going to show you what this thing's going to do with some decent drive. I'm going to sit the phone down, y'all. Y'all bear with me. I am trying to get this done because I got the lead. Go pick my son up from school. Go do my thing I gotta do every Wednesday. 
All right, we are doubling our input from four watts RMS to eight. Variable is all the way up. Preamp works great, by the way. All right, here we go. About done right here. All right. All right, we're going to flip over. Flip off the PEP. Now that's about 160 to 170 RMS. All right, we're gonna flip the PEP back on. All right, but that's right there about 400 to 420 watts. Like I said, it can be driven with a little bit more uh we were on class c uh the ab does a little bit less but it does pull a little bit more current you can see that on the current meter all right man well there you go i hope you enjoy this amplifier was was very nice uh i had to rush through this because i gotta go y'all running out of space i really didn't get to count probably everything i had to got to do but I did count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mods. There could be more than that. See, oh, that's nine actual mods. Then if I counted the repairs, that'd be different. But anyway, I just thought I'd do that just to see. Enjoy, brother. Like I said, we got your fan up under here. I was wanting to show you that, but I wanted to show you the amp upright first. But there's your fan. Blowing a little bit of cool air on there, brother. Got you a black uh, grill, too, to match the, uh, the amp there. Beautiful amp, man. This thing just upped the value of it a decent amount with all this done. So I hope you enjoy, brother. Mr. Gatekeeper in Georgia said it. We're gone.